Mahi, no way! Currently we have about 10 to 12 mile per hour sustained winds, a little bit rough and a little bit more than my liking of taste to do some offshore fishing. The forecast is saying that it's going to drop down from 5 to 2 miles per hour, so hopefully we're going to pray that those winds come to us sooner than later. 30 to 50 miles out, if the winds are going to be nice to us, we're going to be targeting some fresh deep water pelagic fish on that boat right there using some dead bait. So let's see if we can make it happen. So tell me, tell me, Tony, what is this, what is this method called that you're doing right now? Uh, that's just a rig for a kingfish. Okay. Uh, on a ribbon fish. Since it's long, you gotta have like four. Oh, four I hooks. see. Okay. Yeah. That way you get them, get more chance. Yeah. And you said you needed to float, but you gotta wait on there. Isn't that gonna sink it? Yeah, that's why I put a... <laughs> oh, floater, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. But he caught two like this yesterday. I see. So. God bless technology, man. That was a rough ride, dude. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Man, <laughs> man I'm like all saltied up. <laughs> Thank you, my man. So it's a steel leader wire with one, two, two treble hooks and a single circle hook right there. All right, here we go. Watch out, JP. Mahi, no way. Look at that. That's the first time in my life I've ever seen a lot. Really? Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. That's a good one too. Oh, oh no. Nice. Foul hooked him. Yeah, you foul oh. hooked him. Uh oh. He was just swiping at you, huh? Insane. Yeah, don't go on there, oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. You got to practice on that, JT. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Oh, nice. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's no foul hook, man. That's no deep in his mouth. Yeah. That's fair game, brother. Woo. That's fair game. Ah, <laughs> look at that. How's it feel, Tony? Great. Bucket list fish? Oh, yeah. How long do you think that is? That's probably about 30 inches at least. This, uh, I don't think there's a limit on this. There's one. no limit? No. Dang, congratulations, man. You just let it float with the, the water current and they just come and hit it? Yeah. Just let it free float and uh the current will make it look like it's swimming in place. Okay. Yeah, it'll come up and get it. But I don't understand, but it's going to eventually sink to the bottom, right? No, not necessarily. Really? Yeah, it'll float. Yeah, it's deep here, so. Okay, so. You gotta, you gotta it'll wait for it to totally yeah. sink. Really? So, okay, so kingfish. Yeah, it'll go so far and sink, then it'll just swim up there. So, oh, okay, okay, I see. So, it will hit a point in the water column where, where it just suspends and it's just moving yeah. with the current. Gotcha. So kingfish, they attack like top of the water column, middle, bottom? Middle to top. Middle to top. That's why I usually catch them. Look at that. There he goes. First first fish on. Oh my god. Tied up a little bit, tied up a little bit. I don't want it too tight to this. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Right. He's got some pull on him. Oh, 
I don't think he's going to be the biggest. He doesn't feel so, so big, but he is giving the Stella a good workout here. <laughs> I love that sound, man. <laughs> it's a different concept. It's not like fighting reds in shore. You're right about yeah. that. Because everything is bigger out here. Nick, you stand right here and then you, you get to uh, hold yourself. Yeah, gotcha. I feel like he's kind of swimming towards me. If they tire out, they'll come this way. Yeah, he's coming right. I think he's tired out. He's still there. Yeah. I wonder if he has another run in him. Yeah, when they see the boat, they us come up to take off again. <laughs> there he is. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, that's a kingfish. That's a king. That's a good size king. He's gonna be my PB. We get him up. Oh my god! Look at that fish! Holy sh! Holy moly! Woo! Woo! We just started too. Oh my god, dude! How big do you think that is? I'll say, I'll say forty. Forty inches? First one ever. And she's a doozy. It kind of dwarfs your mahi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, first king, and it's a monster. Woo, 40 inch plus. Man, what a fight, too. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Holy crap. Now that's a fish right there. You don't catch this inshore. This ain't no redfish, and definitely ain't no flounder. And she's still a little wiggly. <laughs> Woo! All right, cast number two. Let's see if we get one more. We already got our food to eat. We're taking that big girl home. Tony is going to try to target some snapper. He has his deep drop rig going right there. Maybe we'll catch something else besides snapper. Who knows? Well, look at that snapper, huh? You guys are are uh, joking when you say they're like yaff top out here. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. Like hard It's a nice snapper. It's not legal, but cool. Bye. We got some dolphins swimming right underneath us. They're so smart, they know. Look, he's just kind of chilling there. He's alert right there. Like, I know you guys can't really see it on GoPro, but they're like maybe 10 feet or less, and they're waiting for us to drop the snapper, and they're coming to intercept it. Two. two fish? Oh, yeah, two snapper. That's not bad. It's a sight to behold catching fish like this. We don't see this inshore. Yeah, pretty fish, man. So good to eat, so delicious. Now Justin is on, look at that. Just dropping it all the way down, 110 feet deep. They're nailing that squid. What is that one that you caught in the second one right there? That's not red snapper. What is that? It's an interesting fish, some kind of snapper. What is that? I don't know. Tony, you know what this fish is right here? Uh, no. Well, if you guys know, comment below. That's an interesting fish. Looks almost like a snapper. That's the first one that we've seen. 
new species. Pretty cool. Congratulations, bud. <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> this is redemption. I wonder if he's still on. Yeah, he's still on. I'm gonna keep the line tight. The line is tight. We got him. I don't know. He's not really fighting like a king, man. Maybe it's a wrist snapper. You think so? Yeah, a red snapper? But my my rim fish is like floating. It feels heavy. No, not at all. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is that? That's a king. It's a king? Oh, now oh. it's start fighting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it felt like they were holding. Had uh, all this, all this fight. I didn't feel like the first fight that we had. Oh yeah, that's a good king. Oh, it's another nice size kingfish, man. Whoo. <laughs> Man, that blue water is amazing. How clear it is. Beautiful. Yeah. It's like a <laughs> rocket ship. <laughs> you got more of a fight than that first one, though. <laughs> no, the first one fought better. This one just... This one's fighting at the boat. Yeah, right at the boat. The first one was bigger, for sure, because I had a tighter drag. got him oh another good kingfish Woo! oh my god number two job, for the day you. dude <laughs> thank you bud Woo! dang that's a big one he's not as big as the first one but he's almost almost as big huh yeah probably another lower 40s i'm thinking dang good kingfish all right ladies and gentlemen kingfish number two this dude is a mondo not as big as the first one but man that's a giant probably at least 40 inches maybe 38 39 40 inches easily all day it gave a weird fight they thought it was a snapper but he started fighting right when he came up to the boat look at that baby justin you've been offshore fishing for about like a year and a half now yeah, about a year and a half a year and a half so what do you think is the coolest fish to catch offshore oh well, today we caught that mahi mahi that's coolest thing we caught so far this, out here. Why is that so cool? I mean, is it mahi mahi offshore fish? Yeah, but uh, this close to shore. So that's a rare thing, huh? A rare thing. Okay, that's cool, man. I'm glad it's one of the first yeah. of many, hopefully, right? Best tasting offshore fish. What do you think that is? Uh, it's hard to beat. Uh, snapper's pretty good. King. So anything offshore is just good uh, meat. So why do you think kingfish is categorized as trash fish to some people? I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's trash fish. No. <laughs> right? You it's really it good. Yeah, you bleed them out real good and uh, meat's real clean and white. So. Yeah. I agree, man. Yeah. But yeah, man. It's been awesome, dude. Good day today. <laughs> Absolutely.